Cash and body camera videos obtained by KCTV5 give new perspective into what happened during a violent multi-city January crime spree that ended with a deputy shooting and killing the suspect. You may remember that it all started with customers running for safety during an armed robbery in Liberty, followed by the suspect shooting an employee in Independence. Tonight, Emily Rittman shows the video evidence used by prosecutors to determine the officer involved shooting was justified. KCTV 5 News first requested these records back in February. Each law enforcement agency waited to release them until the investigation was complete. We want to let you know that you will see body camera video leading up to the fatal shooting. Liberty police say Jeffrey Millsap drove to the Academy Sports in Liberty to try to buy a gun around 11 a.m. on January 2nd. When he did not pass the background check, surveillance video shows he jumped over the counter with a knife and stole a handgun and ammunition. Because he filled out paperwork and provided his photo ID, investigators began searching for him. Armed with a knife, stolen ammo, and a gun, investigators say Millsap then drove to the landmark Dodge Chrysler Jeep dealership off Nolan Road in Independence. Around 11:30 that day, police say Millsap shot car dealership employee Jody Hendrick. Dash camera video shows Independence police officers pulling in to the parking lot. As first responders worked to save Hendrick's life, police asked witnesses what they saw. I saw him walk in, to shoot him. I found him under the desk. Dispatchers shared Millsap's vehicle description with officers around the metro. Millsap was driving a vehicle he had purchased from the dealership. An officer spotted him driving in Clay County. Millsap refused to pull over and kept driving toward his home. Millsap is driving the gold car you see speeding up his driveway. The deputy who was wearing this body camera followed Millsap up the driveway. His patrol vehicle hit Millsap's car as Millsap ran toward a basement door. At the time, officers did not know if Millsap would try to hurt anyone else inside the home. The deputy followed Millsap, shouting for him to show his hands, but he never did. Instead, the deputy says Millsap kept digging in his pocket and pulled out a gun. If we zoom in, you can see the gun in Millsap's hand. Then the officer backed up for cover and fired his duty weapon. After Millsap was shot, body camera video shows the gun on the ground next to his hand. Millsap died from multiple gunshot wounds. In June, KCTV5 spoke to Jody Hendrick, who is still recovering from his injuries after Millsap shot him seven times, causing broken ribs, a punctured lung, brain trauma, and required surgery for injuries to his legs. All I could think about uh, when it started and when it was over was, you know, I'm not going to see my family again. God bless that officer who had enough courage to, to stop him before anybody else got hurt. The Missouri State Highway Patrol investigated the shooting involving the deputy and submitted the case to the Clay County Prosecutor's Office. Prosecutors determined the deputy acted in self-defense and that his actions were both lawful and necessary to protect the public and other officers. Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News.